Hello beautiful family, Stephen here again, the 29th of January in the year 2023 and it's, it's very windy today um, but this 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 area d doesn't seem to be catching the wind too much so um, I just pray over this video, dear loving Heavenly Father, I pray this be a real blessing to everybody, Lord God, I pray everybody will be will be filled with the fire of the Holy Ghost and you'll be glorified in them all, Lord God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, you lift them up, raise them up. Lord, the voice of the Lord is powerful and you will just say one word into them all and give them strength and power in the name of Jesus, being gracious to them all, making your, your, your wonderful, glorious face to shine upon them all. Lord God, and lifting up the power, lifting up the power and the strength, the health, the healing of your countenance upon them all, and giving them peace, which passeth knowledge in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Uh, right, okay then, so if, if somebody's new coming to this channel, um, and you haven't believed on Jesus Christ, well, you, you need to do it, you need to do it quickly, because time, time is running out so quick. I, I, have you guys noticed just how quick the time is coming going oh i just pray over this video lord that you will get all the glory in the name of jesus and you protect the video and you'll cause it to upload and go through those demonic algorithms invisible in the name of jesus christ thank you lord thank you you will do this amen right so i've uploaded a video and they're trying they're trying to slow them down because i'm a targeted individual so this is what's happening all the time and uh I've just, I, I just want to encourage you all. I know we're all going through battles. I know every, the people are, uh, listen, right? My, my feet are under attack, believe it or not, my feet. And um, I just prayed as I was walking along. I, I said, Lord, I, I loose the, the fire of God upon my feet right now, like this, and burn up all this attack upon my feet. And my feet, pfft, made whole just like that honestly uh, the, the lord is my witness i well I, I wouldn't lie anyway i wouldn't lie to you i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna exaggerate so i'll just show you the nice beautiful view from here i know many of you don't live been near the sea so um so you, it, it's, it's nice for you to see the sea which i know will come upon this country at some point according to the what god has shown me um, it will indeed. Um, do you know what the just uh, right? So if you're new to this channel, I'm a preacher of the gospel of Jesus Christ. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation, salvation and everlasting life for anybody and everybody that believes, no matter who you are, no matter what you've done. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Because the Bible makes it very clear. The Bible is the word of God. The only word of God. Anything else is not the word of God. Like the Quran, the Bhagavad Gita. This is all created by Satan. To try, all these false gods to try to get you away from the one true God. So that you don't believe. So that you don't get saved. And so that you end up in hell. But God doesn't want you to end up in hell. The Bible says God wants all to be saved. The Bible says all can be saved, no matter who you are. Like I said, no matter what you've done, really, no matter. You might think, well, he won't forgive me because I, I've, I've, uh, I've been dealing drugs for 20 years. I've been, I've been getting people hooked on crack and heroin. No, he will forgive you on one condition. That is that you believe that you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ. Like I said, we've all, we all sin, we've all sinned and we all fall short of the glory of God. The Bible says the wages, the penalty of sin is death. That means hell. But the free gift of God, which he wants to give you, he wants to give everyone according to his word, eternal life through Jesus Christ. So you believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you will be saved and you'll never lose your salvation contrary to what these false teachers and false prophets will say so the gospel is most of you know it anyway most people know about jesus 
how he died on that cross for all our sins, according to the scriptures. He was buried and rose again from the dead on the third day, according to the scriptures. And when you believe that in your heart, when you really know that it's true, and you think, yes, he did it for me, and you call upon him, you'll be saved. That's it. You'll be saved in a twinkling of the eye. You'll be born of God, uh, saved, sealed, uh, justified by the shed blood of Jesus. Because the Bible says there's no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. So God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. God gave his son, Jesus Christ, to be a sacrifice to shed his blood on the cross for all our sin. They buried him in a tomb and on the third day he rose again out of that grave. And when you believe that in your heart and call upon him, boom, you'll be saved in a twinkling of the eye. And uh, you'll have a one way ticket to heaven and you will be taken up in the rapture. So if, if, if the enemy is whispering to you and saying to you because you're, you're struggling with any kind of sin or, you know, smoking weed or, or smoking cigarettes or, or any, anything at all, um, it's a lie. It's a lie. You're not going to get left behind. All born again believers are going up in the rapture. Um, all. He's not going to leave. 99 of his sheep. Uh, uh, he's going to take, take 99 of his sheep and leave one? No. All born again believers will go in the rapture. If you don't believe me, take it to the Lord and ask him. Uh, yes, we are commanded to watch. And there is a blessing for those that are watching. Blessed is he uh, uh, whom when the Lord shall come, shall find watching. Um, so stay watching. Um, don't, don't be discouraged because we're still here. We're only still here because of how, how serious and how terrible it's going to be during the Great Tribulation, Revelation, Apocalypse period. Um, it, it really is. It's going to be, Well, Isaiah says, Behold, the Lord maketh the earth empty and maketh it waste and turneth it upside down and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. It's going to be, it's going to be either... Well, there's going to be a, a, like a transhuman zombie apocalypse. There's going to be uh, these... Uh, demons, Nephilim, um, presenting themselves at the beginning as uh, aliens, uh, you know, from they're going to say, well, they created us, the Antichrist is going to say, um, he created us, and he created these aliens to abduct uh, all Christians away, and they'll, they'll use like some, something called uh, blue beam technology, holographic images in the sky, um, and I believe literal, literal uh, aircraft that these demonic entities have, uh, which are spewing all this stuff in the atmosphere. Um, remember, remember that film, in Independence Day? I have a strong feeling. Do you remember when those big spaceships um, landed above each capital city? I believe it'll be something like that. You know, it could well be. Uh, that's predictive programming. Um, and I, I, I urge everybody, if you're watching TV, I tell you something, it will dumb, dumb you down in the faith. If you're not on fire for God, uh, you watch TV, it will, it will make you uh, lukewarm. It'll make you lukewarm. It will also interfere with your visions and your dreams. It will mould you, shape you, according to this world. Um, and we are not of this world. So, um, touch not the unclean thing and God will accept you. And that's an unclean thing. What it's doing is it's spewing lies to you. The TV is just full of deception, lies, propaganda, mind control. That's what it's all about. And it, uh, broadcasting their spells upon upon people, broadcasting their spells. I'm trying to make it lighter, but it goes lighter, and then and then it seems to it just goes darker again. I, I I really don't understand it at all. Anyway, I hope you can see. I play it back. It should be all right. But um, I mean, the, the, this as I'm looking out here, it's bright. 
the sun's trying to get out through through the chemtrail smog, but um, it's dark looking through this. I hope it's light when I when I play it back. Anyway, I love you all. Uh, we're gonna be together very soon. Don't lose heart. Uh, hold that fast which thou hast. That no man take thy crown. We this is I've said it before, but now it's said with much urgency. It is written that the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verses 16 to 19. This is our blessed hope and glorious appearing of the great God and our Saviour, King Jesus Christ. He's coming for us, guys. The only reason we're still here, like I say, is because of how serious it's going to be during the Great Tribulation. It's going to be absolutely horrific. I mean, a quarter of the world's population is going to die in war, famine and death to start with. And then another third of the population is going to be killed. And phew, it's, it's going to be bad. It's going to be very bad. There's going to be no food, people are going to be starving, people are going to be drinking out of rivers which have, have been poisoned by wormwood. Um, that could be a nuclear bomb or new, um, I don't know. I don't know, what do you think about wormwood, guys? I mean, it says star, but um, the rest of the stars are, are referred to as angels, but not that one. Um, anyway, I don't know, I'm not here to cause arguments, just um, maintain the uh, uh, unity of the spirit and, and uh, remain in God's love. I'm going to get going before it's...